Sagittarius, let's see what the week ahead has in store for you. Any information you may be looking for will be listed in the description. So just check there. And oh, if you want a personal reading, I will have my website listed below for you as well. But let's see. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So first card we have, we have slow and steady. So during this week, things could be more of a slower energy. Things may not be like super intense or you having a lot coming at you, which is good. And this is going to give you an opportunity to be very intentful. I don't know if that's a word, but in, intentional, I think is more of a word. More intentional with how you are moving and what you're taking action on. Okay, and then even if the energy isn't necessarily slow during this week, this is a time where you want to be intentional. And that's like the biggest message here. What are some ways that you can kind of slow down, live in the moment, and not just be rushing through each day with this, okay, I got to get this done, I got to get this done, to where you're not being mindful or even present or grounded in your reality. Also, if you have any business ideas or any business stuff that you're working on you could be seeing a slow and steady progress around your business endeavors or your career as well we also have strength so with strength here this is like the regular strength card in the regular tarot but this talks about being bold being courageous being confident putting yourself out there going out on the limb and there's certain things during this week that's requiring you requiring you to step into a space of having strength or willpower. Now, there could be certain temptations that come up this week, for example, that you're having to have willpower over entertaining or given time of the day, time of the day. This could even be you being pushed out of your comfort zone and having to be, like I said, confident and strong and knowing that you're able to handle this, this thing that you're being, you know, faced with. But this is a card around you being more than capable of handling what comes your way. And in regards to whatever challenge or new thing you could be faced with dealing with during this week, you're able to step up to the plate and show up and show out. We also have a rock bottom. So the rock bottom card comes up when we've reached our lowest point, right? But only way that we can go now from that point is up. So we've already reached our lowest point. Now it's about evolving from this low point, seeing what we can learn from this low point and surrendering to the process and being in acceptance of how things are, you know, transpiring around you. Okay, and this is also a reminder that you can't, continue to do things a certain way especially if it's detrimental because it can bring you to your lowest point so be mindful is there some old way of doing things or old way of seeing things that could be leaving you at your lowest this may be a time for you to adapt to like a new strategy a new plan a new mindset okay and also this is a sign that you have to accept things as they are so you can work with your situation in your reality now, we also have a rescue. So rescue comes in when your spiritual team is right there beside you, guiding you, supporting you in their own way. And this is a reminder that you're safe and secure. So there's nothing you need to necessarily worry about in terms of you um, being unsafe or, or being in like treacherous energy. It's also a reminder to ask for help. During this time frame, you could have certain individuals who are asking you for help. So you may have to be that rescue or be that support for others. Or you may be needing this support from others and not being afraid to ask for it. Even if it's not from like people, this is asking for some of you, your spiritual team or the universe for their help. And last card I have from this deck, we have follow the leader. So whenever the follow the leader card comes in, this is a reminder that you're going through the things you're going through so that you can be a leader. How can you lead other people if you're not leading by example or leading from experience? So every experience you go through is a teaching tool and 
you learning about yourself, you learning about your journey could be beneficial to other people around you, especially if you're a public speaker in some way or you, you know, may help people, maybe you're a tarot reader, your experiences could help lead other people to their breakthrough. And you don't even know it. Okay, let's pull some more cards. So the overall energy, we have the lovers. In love, hold on, I got a card that fell. We have the judgment card in reverse. Career and finance, we have the hangman. The advice card is the ace of swords. The challenge card is the ace of cups. And the message from your spiritual team is the knight of wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So yeah, some of you have been at a low point mentally and you're coming out of that. Okay, if you, while you may have felt sorry for yourself, you may have felt defeated at your lowest, unable to, you know, unable to, to have peace of mind, unable to like pick yourself up. Maybe you even had time getting or a difficult time getting out of the bed or a difficult time like taking yourself out of solitude. This week is going to give you an opportunity to get out of that depressive energy, depressive mindset or mind state and feeling starting to feel like yourself again or starting to feel like a brand new and improved version of self. Also with the Ten of Swords in reverse, you could be forgiving somebody for some sort of betrayal they may have put you through. This could be like a friend and you're giving them another chance after they, you know, may have betrayed you or did something that was kind of hurtful. Or like a family member. Somebody here could be giving, you could be giving forgiveness to or could be wanting forgiveness. Now going deeper into this, the first card we have is the lovers representing just the overall energy. So there's some sort of crucial choice that you're having to make during this time frame. Now, this choice is not just limited to one area. This could be within your career, finances, whatnot. But this choice is something you're going to have to make based off of your heart and your mind, not just based off of how you feel emotionally and how you feel in the moment. And this choice is also going to change the trajectory and how things play out for you beyond this point. So it could be a little difficult for you to stand in this choice, to be honest, but you're having to make it. Now, when it comes to love specifically, I have the judgment card in reverse. So, yeah, you could be questioning certain decisions that you've been making when it comes to your love life in particular. Maybe you gave somebody a chance that shouldn't have been given another chance. Or maybe you have forgiven certain individuals or want to forgive certain individuals where you don't want that choice or that decision to backfire. Some of you even let somebody back into your life and you could be questioning like, was that even a smart idea? Because maybe they never really learned from what caused you guys to break up in the first place. They could still be participating in the same actions or the same things that caused you want to split up with this person to begin with. For some of you, you could be dating somebody where you are concerned around whether or not they're still wanting to date their ex or if there's certain things that they aren't saying that's making you feel like you guys aren't on the same page. So there could be certain conversations or certain things that are coming up that you and your person are having to hash out or make sense of. But with career and finance specifically, I have the hangman. So there could be certain delays around that arena. Maybe you're waiting to put a project out there or an idea out there because you want to make sure everything is perfect. Now, you want to be careful of perfectionism and letting perfectionism stop you from putting yourself out there. But um, that is something some of you could be struggling with. For others of you, it could be this waiting process to hear back from certain jobs or certain interviews you may have went to. 
It could be taking them a little bit of time. Some of you may even feel stuck in your current career. Like you want to have a breakthrough. You want to, to see more growth, things picking up. And maybe things seem a little bit slow in terms of business. Now, the advice for you with the Ace of Swords, it's important that you're taking care of your mental health during this week so that you can be level-headed, clear-headed when it comes to the you know important decisions and moves that you're having to make during this, this week. Also with the Ace of Swords, this is prioritizing clear communication where people are like just full of miscommunication and not knowing how to communicate. You wanna make sure that you're speaking your piece and that you're communicating in an effective way so that you kind of stay in the know and that you don't have like these lingering questions that need to be answered. There's also weeding out distractions. This is not the time to be distracted or disheveled energy wise and, and focusing on like the wrong things, giving the wrong things attention. Now, when it comes to the challenge you may run into with the Ace of Cups, there could be certain emotions that are coming up during this time frame that you may not know how to deal with or process. And if it's not you who's in more of an emotional space, you could have certain individuals around you who have certain emotions that they're not handling properly. They could be acting solely off of emotion and it's making it difficult for you guys to reach a point of understanding. For others of you, you could have a strong love or, or interest in someone new or in someone period. And maybe it's difficult for you to express how you feel or maybe you're wanting the person you're interested in to express how they feel and they just may be emotionally unavailable. Or maybe they're not taking the steps fast enough to pursue you. Now, when it comes to the advice, or not advice, the message from your spiritual team with the Knight of Wands, you need to take care of yourself energy-wise or you're going to be all over the place or scattered in your energy. Also, you need to be mindful of the things that are throwing you off energy-wise. This is the wrong type of entertainment. Are you eating the wrong types of foods? Are you subscribing to the wrong beliefs? <laughs> Whatever this may be that's throwing you off and making you act very like energetically scattered all or, or all over the place, you need to take care of yourself energy-wise. Also, anybody who could be acting this way towards you, very scattered in their energy, inconsistent, you need to be mindful of like getting yourself too close to individuals like that because those types of individuals lack consistency and you're going to be going on an emotional roller coaster dealing with them. Okay, also be mindful of passive aggressiveness possibly an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo individual around you. Doesn't even have to be that zodiac sign, but just passive aggressiveness. So what are the overall messages this week? So we have Stormy. So yes, if things are a little bit rocky energy-wise, you need to make sure that you're not responding off of impulse, responding off of temporary challenges or issues that you could be running into. Hmm. Also, it's important to know that you're able to navigate through whatever challenges you're faced with during this time frame. So panic is not the answer. I also have release here. So this is kind of going back to what I was saying with the Ace of Swords. In order for you to have a prosperous week, you need to be releasing yourself from troubling situations or situations connected to a lot of drama. And there's also certain things that you're needing to release with out of your, your mind, within your head. That's making you feel very stuck or small or like limited to an experience or, or to a, a situation. And when it comes to things that you've already let go of, 
give yourself the grace to move forward. Some of you are like beating yourself down or constantly thinking about what you've let go of to no, to no avail or for no reason. But this is what I see. I hope that this was helpful and to give you insight for the week. And I will see you in the next one.